Hello, hello, all my beautiful viewers, and welcome to another episode of restoring an old Corvette C3 that hasn't ran in 20 years. In today's episode, we are going to be installing the engine harness and the light harness. And trust me, you want to watch this video. I will go into depth. I will explain where every single wire and every single connection goes. I explain the grounds and the battery terminals, all the stuff that people miss, all the mistakes that people make installing harnesses, I will discuss. Trust me, you wanna watch this? It's one of the best harness videos on a 3C Corvette on earth. And also, at the end of this video, we will be turning the key to see if everything works. All right, we're basically gonna start at the alternator. But for all of you that have brand new harnesses, this is the part that actually concerns you as well. So our harness has been repaired in our previous episode. It is 100% good to go back in. What I'm going to show you now is the same kind of thing we did to the harness, cleaning all the little connectors and all of that. We have to do that to the car now. So when we start plugging into things, all the plugs on the car have to be cleaned the same way. All right, let's get started. There's the front of the car. Okay, so starting at the alternator, uh, this plug looks super good. Uh, this plug looks super good. Uh, however, the ground on it, as you can see, that bolt's pretty rusty and that's not that clean. So I'll quickly clean that and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So there is your ground bolt on the alternator. There you have it. That's what it should look like for a ground. So we did the same thing on the alternator, cleaned that super good. And we did the same thing on the ground wire on the harness in our previous episode, how to repair and reuse a wiring harness. So you definitely are gonna need some dielectric grease, good stuff here. Every single plug that you connect, I'm talking every single plug has to be caked in this so it never corrodes, never rusts, and never arcs, and actually works properly. So you basically wanna squeeze that in there super good, so that way these are caked in it, just like that. You're also gonna put it all over your grounds, and all over your bolt for the ground, and all over the positive cable as well. All right, we got the alternator hooked up. We got our plug, we got our positive, and we got our ground and our bracket on the alternator, as you can see. So now off this bunch of wires here, there's one wire like this that comes off. Um, that plugs in in between these two cylinders, right in between the two spark plugs, there's a plug there. Um, it doesn't plug in like this, it plugs in, you put it underneath it and you slide it in like that. And then there's this plug that comes off these wires too, and that goes right there, see right there to the proportioning valve, right in the middle of the screen there, and that just plugs in. All right, we got our alternator hooked up. Um, we got the wire in between the two spark plugs hooked up. We got this wire hooked up to the uh, thing there. And now what we're gonna do is, so you lay your harness on the side here, and you'll notice underneath here, there's a metal thing like this that you put the wire into, so you go like that. And then what you gotta do is, right down here, uh, the rad is out now, because uh, we're already making the next episode, but. Um, so right where these vacuum hoses go, so on the other side here, what you wanna do is you wanna disconnect those hoses, run them out this hole here, so you have room to drag your harness in through that hole. That's where that harness goes through. There's your alternator. It goes on that clip, down this way, through this hole. And then the second you run that wire through that hole, you put your vacuum hoses back through that hole and you plug them where they belong so you don't forget where they were after. So it's not the biggest pain in the world to get these wires through this hole. The only thing you gotta do is just kind of feed them through one at a time. And Basically, you gotta get that whole harness through that one hole. All right, we got that through the hole. So, I'll show you how this wire goes. So off the alternator, there's a clip there, it clips onto that, it clips onto that. All these vacuum hoses also go in there. I just left them out so I could show you. Then it comes out the hole. 
see right there. And then when it comes out the hole, the first wire we're gonna worry about is the ground wire. And that ground wire went right there to the body of the car. Ours was all rusted in that spot. So we're actually gonna make a nice new fresh hole and attach that. So I'll do that and I'll show you how to do a ground wire properly because everybody's doing this wrong. I'm telling you guys, it's gotta be super, super well attached. I'll show you right now. Then you gotta get yourself a little grinding wheel like this and you have to grind this to bare metal on both sides. So if it doesn't look like that, then it's not a ground. And you cannot use self tappers, people. There ha it has to be a nut and a bolt and you gotta tighten it tight. Self tappers, that's not a ground. So now you take your dielectric grease and you cake that, you cake your plug here and the bolt and you screw it together and you squeeze it really, really tight. And now you got yourself a nice, good, solid ground. And remember, with these cars, it's all about the grounds on these plastic cars. Grounds. One bad ground can make a whole system not work. All right, let's continue. All right, I'm very, very happy with that ground. So now we got everything laid out here, as you can see. You got your uh, passenger light. You got your driver's light. Um, some of the blinkers and things go down into there. It starts to just kind of come together. Now here's another wire that maybe somebody could miss. So this is a ground wire. See, I got everything labeled from when I took it out. And over here in the middle, right in between the two lights, see there is a bracket right there, which that is another ground for this wire. So in the middle of your harness, you got the second wire. So that ground is also no good. We're gonna unscrew this, clean that all to bare metal, clean the nut, clean the bracket, do the exact same thing we did over there and get that ground perfect. So that's our next step now. So as you can see, that's not a good ground. We're gonna clean all that. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. And I mean, this connector was all rusted too, just like that other one. So I mean, Guaranteed that was one of the many reasons like nothing worked in this car like when I when I got this car in here Nothing worked on this car like you couldn't even turn the ignition. It would just go ah, And the amp meter would drop and I mean it hasn't ran in over 20 years So make sure you subscribe to these awesome episodes. I'm bringing this old girl back to life. She's nice No rust wide body kit. Mm. All right, so that's what that should look like. We got everything uh, all greased up in that Let's put this on all right, we got that on. Uh, the ground's perfect, the brackets on there good. So now, as we're going along, we're taking our little tags off of things. So next is gonna be the horns, and that is these two wires. I already cleaned uh, the plug super good. So on the actual horn ho horns themselves, see the connectors are pretty rusty. So we're gonna take our Dremel here, we're gonna put this type of thing on it, and we're gonna clean those up and then attach the horns. And that's what those should look like. All nice and greased up and nice and clean. All right, let's hook those up. All right, we're actually getting pretty close here in the front. So these uh, plugs for the front headlights, see right over top of these things here, see right in there, those wires go in through there. Just feed them in through that hole, see, like that. And then on the other side, uh, same thing. So those just feed in right through there and there. So I'll do that. And then down here, all we got left is, um, this goes into the blinker or the marker light in the front. Uh, that also connects to that same marker light. And then we just have this bulb, which connects to this side marker light. All right, so that marker light just plugs into there, but I just wanna show you guys something. So right here, see, this is sharp. This is metal, like part of the bumper. So this wire will bounce around, see, and it'll 
rub like that. And it could cut through it eventually after driving around and shore it up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of this protective coating on the wire. Uh, great product, I highly recommend it. And that way there's no chance of that happening. So I'll put that on, plug that in, and we'll move on to the next marker light plug. So we are basically going from this to this. I mean, that's protected now. And some dialectic grease, just like that. Now we're cooking with gasoline. All right, let's plug her in. All right, so on the driver's side, we got this plug, which hooks up to the front marker light. And then we have this that goes inside of it. I just quickly want to show you something. So I quickly pulled it out. So the optical goes in there like this. Right, so you might have to pull it out to get it in so it doesn't fall back out. And then this plug here is in pretty rough shape. So we're gonna clean that up, grease it up, and then it'll be good. All right, well, you guys get the idea with the plugs. So I might start skipping that in this video, but that's what they all need. All right, so I did have to pull that out to get that optical in properly. So I got that in. Now, the only thing we got left here now is the wire from that light just plugs into that plug. Nothing too crazy there. So I'll hook that up and then I wanna show you something underneath these headlights really quick. Okay, so we basically got the driver's side completely connected. We got a uh, low beam and the high beam connected. So now the only thing is this plug here, right? So right in this area on the light, so right here, that would normally plug in there. And let me just explain what that's for. Okay, so now we are on the passenger side. See, this thing's not missing here. On the other side, this button is missing. See, it's a button. See, and the way that works is, see right here, you press that and it closes the circuit. Um, so watch, when you open your light, I'm gonna open it manually. See, now that's pressed. So what happens is that plug plugs into it and um, inside of your car on the dashboard, there is like a warning light. So when you turn on your lights and if your lights don't go up all the way, uh, that button doesn't get pressed. And then on your dash, there'll be a little light lit up basically informing you that your lights are not lit up. So what we're gonna have to do is either buy a new switch for the other side off uh, eBay or something like that. Or what we could do is you could eliminate those by just cutting the plug off and twisting the two wires together and then that light will never turn on. And I mean, when you're driving, you can see if your lights are up or not. So that's up to you, but all that will be covered in the uh, headlight uh, troubleshooting videos, which will be in the future. Right now, uh, harness installation. All right, we got the driver's side, everything hooked up on that side. Um, the other side is the same as this, so I'm gonna skip that part of the video. Let's move on now uh, to towards the back of the car and start installing the harness going that way. All right, everything is installed up there. Now we're gonna move forward here. So there really isn't much left here. We have all this here, which goes to um, the horn relay, which is right there. Ours is removed and I'll show you why in a minute. So a few wires hook into there. I'll specifically show you which one goes where on that. And then after that, we just have the plug that plugs into the fuse panel and the optical cables that go inside of the dash there, which at the moment looks like this. But don't worry, everything's gonna end up working in this car, trust me. So I highly recommend you just watch all my episodes on this Corvette right from the first one, right from taking the gas out. And if you don't learn something, I don't know, I'll give you a dollar, how about that? Just joking about the dollar. Anyways, um, so here is our horn relay. As you can see, it's in very, very rough shape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean all these connectors here and we're gonna clean this connector that connects the two harnesses together, actually. That's what that does. Um, we're probably gonna order a new one of these, but for now, we're just gonna install what we have for now. Hey, if it works, it works. If not, we'll replace it. Um, no big deal, but We'll get to that later. There'll probably be an episode on the horn and there'll probably be an episode on the lights and there'll probably be an episode on the vacuum system 
and on the heating system which is actually going to be the next episode we got the heater core out in that episode i'm going to show you how all the little blend doors work all the vacuums how all this works with the heater system and how to make sure that once you get your car going it doesn't end up catching a fire on you you're not even going to believe what i found in there guys it's going to blow your mind that'll be the next episode i'm already making uh both episodes at the same time i'm multitasking anyways continue watching the harness install all right we got that pretty clean for now like i said we'll probably replace this but we're gonna put it on for now so the first thing you want to do is so your bunch of wires coming off the alternator so right in here look you got this kind of hook thing right so what you want to do is you want to put all your wires onto this hook underneath these vacuum hoses and you want to run them just down into that hole there so i'm going to do all that right now and then once we get that done we'll move on to this okay so this relay goes on like this under there so if you look underneath it you actually these three wires you actually can't get them on wrong they're actually the way it's made here i'll show you so you got your green one goes in here like this and then you got your black one that goes in here like this if you try putting them in the wrong uh slots they just don't work and then your red one with the black stripe goes right there see that's how that goes so hopefully that helps you guys with that problem uh we're obviously gonna attach that still and then i'll show you how to hook up all these uh positives to it and as you can see we see we got the harness going down on this hook just like i said earlier going down underneath the car all right we got the relay box on nice and tight so we cleaned everything, all the connectors and all the connectors on the car. Um, so now coming out of the alternator, uh, the wire goes to the harness here and right out of the harness, you got one red wire coming out of it. And then you have these two coming out of it, which have one connector at the end. So this one and these ones um, out of the harness get connected right here onto the uh, this relay box. So we'll connect that, and then there's a few more in the car. I'll show you those. Okay, so we got those hooked up, as you can see. Uh, one and two off the harness. Now out of the car, so there's this wire with a fuse on it, and that wire travels all the way across the car, and it actually goes to that relay box there. So that's the next wire that we're gonna hook up into this. And the next one after that is this one here, which, travels all the way there and it travels into this little box right here um and then i think it goes out of the other prong on it and it actually goes into your dash so that's your other one and then there's gonna be one more after when we put the engine harness in i believe there's one that goes from the starter all the way to that relay box section and it doesn't matter what side of it you put it on because all that little panel does it just it connects all the positives together that's all that does all right we're gonna attach all those and move on okay we got that all connected up nice everything's tight um harness is going down into there now so now we're gonna go in that spot underneath right there and uh continue all right so that wire comes in comes in right there then it splits these are the optical cables coming off of it and then we got our plug up there this is the back of the fuse box inside of the car so that just plugs in just like that but we're gonna clean all that good first um and then there's a hole right there so in that hole we're gonna feed this thing in there so i'll do that right now and then i'll go inside and i'll show you the trail for that okay so right there below the fuse box inside of the car see it comes in and then it runs up here right there right there right there hooks onto those hooks and then it goes down and it will eventually uh be underneath the radio basically so that's how that runs um all right let's go move on to the plug all right so i'm just looking inside this plug here and 
It looks okay except for like two or three prongs. So unfortunately, I think I gotta go inside and pull it out so I can clean and inspect those good before I plug anything into it. All right, so looking directly at the fuse box inside here. So there's a bolt down there, bottom left corner, and a bolt up there, top right corner. And for some reason, that top one's loose. So I'm actually gonna pull those bolts out and investigate this thing before I move on. Okay, so that unscrewed no problem, and it's very accessible now to clean the, those couple prongs. So I'll do that. And also, you know, once we're doing the interior and something's not working, I'll tell you right now that this part of the harness here, like look inside of there, this would all be very, very easy to troubleshoot and repair if something, you know, if one of those prongs got loose in there or corroded or something. So um, that can all easily be done, but. For now, we're just gonna clean in there, uh, put it back the way it was, and we're gonna plug in the harness. So I'll do that right now, and we'll continue with this. Awesome Corvette C3. And honestly, um, this is going very well. Like, I'm not really coming across any kind of weird situations where I can't unplug something or read something. So far, this car, I gotta say, has been very easy, easy to work on. Like. I got no complaints about it. And we're gonna clean those prongs with this pointy one. It'll get right in there. All right, so I got that in there and now it's actually not moving at all. So those bolts were just completely loose for some reason. All right, so the only thing we got left now is to put some dielectric grease inside of that plug and just plug it in. All right, now we're gonna move on to the engine harness. And in order to get started on that, we have to, look over the most important wire in the whole entire car which is your ground wire coming off your battery onto your frame and also your power wire that goes from the battery all the way to the starter where we're going to start working on the engine harness so we're going to start that inspection it's part of the install of that harness that that wire has to be 100 percent let me show you okay so behind the driver's seat is where your battery sits so I've noticed in here that the uh, the positive terminal, which is this one, this is completely loose. See what I mean? Look. So that's gonna arc like crazy. So we need to start by repairing this section of it. Uh, the ground seems okay, but we're gonna take this tape off and investigate that. And underneath, we also have to redo the ground so it's better. And then over here, this fell out. So we'll have to attach that. So I'm gonna quickly do that right now. All right, so I took that terminal apart and the way it works is when you screw this into there, that squeezes the wire. So I think I can reuse that. Uh, the only problem I'm having now is in here. Um, I was having a hard time getting that into there, that rubber piece. So I'll tell you right now, if you're ever struggling with one of these, you basically put Vaseline all over everything and then it just slides right in. So I put on the cord and it'll slide right in. See that even cracked at some point from somebody trying to pull it out with a screwdriver or something. But our goal is to get that back in and then we're gonna clean up this wire really good with some sandpaper, make it nice. And then we're gonna put this other terminal on. But before we do that, we actually have to super nicely clean it and make it um, nice and fresh. It's the most important thing. I'm telling you like your battery terminals have to be clean spotless covered in Dielectric grease and have to be on tight. There can't be any play or any movement. It's just as important as a ground All right, it wasn't easy, but I got the rubber thing back in where it's supposed to be. You know what? Unfortunately uh, This battery terminal is garbage So we are going to have to get some new ones Oh, no way. What are the odds of that? Thanks. <laughs> um, look at that. What a lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what are the odds of that? Well, we got some nice brand new battery terminals. Let's throw them on this girl. All right, so we caked those in dielectric grease and I mean, those are on, they're good now. Uh, there's no movement at all. It's tight, tightened everything up super good. 
got the rubber piece in. So uh, this is ready for a battery now. When we put the battery in, we're gonna put dielectric grease all over these and put them on nice and tight towards the battery. You guys wouldn't believe how many times people have come to me, oh, my starter's broken, or this and that. It's usually 99% of the time, it's the battery terminals. They're either loose or corroded or something. So that's major, major place you gotta work on when you know rebuilding your harness for whatever reason. Check your battery terminals and your grounds. Okay, we're gonna move underneath the car now and we're gonna follow the ground wire. Okay, so directly underneath the car, right here is your ground wire and it hooks into the frame right here. So we're gonna unscrew that and I'll show you how to make sure that that ground is solid. Like that's basically your two most important wires are that ground right there and the positive wire that goes all the way to your starter. All right, we got that disconnected and as you can see, it's not the best ground in the world. So we're gonna clean all this to bare metal and we're gonna clean this uh, also to bare metal on both sides and then put dielectric grease on it, put it back on nice and tight, like tight, I'm talking tight like a tiger. All right, so there you have it. See, everything's nice, bare metal, cleaned. That's all bare metal, so now that can go on there nice. We even clean the boat. Yeah. All right, we got that ground like 100%. So the positive wire now, uh, we got 100% up top, so it kinda comes out um, by the drive axle there, and it goes on the side of uh, the inside there, all the way to the starter. So I've already went and I inspected it. You can't see it, you know, you go in with the flashlight, and I checked it, checked it everywhere. It looks good, it's attached good, uh, there's no coating missing off of it, nothing. So uh, there's two things I noticed at the starter. So we're gonna go over to the starter now. We're gonna uh, do what needs to be done there with that positive wire, and then we're gonna start on our engine harness. Okay, so we are now at the starter. Um, I'll show you the two things I don't like about this wire. So one, this whole electrical tape situation, we're gonna cut that off, investigate it, and we're gonna clean this and clean the other side. And if it's good, we're gonna tape it back up. And the second thing I don't like about it is See, when the wire is on like that, see right here is this one spot where this wire actually rubs up against the motor. See right there? So that could cut through right there and arc out, short out, and literally catch on fire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some snap-on wire protector and we're gonna put it on that wire as far back as it'll go. So when it rubs in that spot, now it's protected. All right, I took the tape off and I looked at it and it's actually good. It's attached the way it's supposed to. So we're just gonna put tape back on this. The other problem with it is, obviously it needs to be cleaned, but it's actually bent. So when you put it on the starter, I don't know why. See, so we're actually gonna bend that straight. So then this will sit there just like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna get that all ready, show you what it looks like and we're gonna move on to the harness. But I just wanna show you guys one other thing that you have to check over before you turn your key. So there's a couple grounds on these cars. So for example, right here next to the starter, see there's a ground that goes from there to there. I believe those are extra because of the uh, ignition uh, being upgraded. But anyways, so look at this. If you can move a ground like that, then uh, it's not a ground. So we're gonna uh, clean all this up and tighten that. And back here, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna take it off, bare metal that, just like we did from the battery, clean that one up. And also on the motor here, there's a ground. This one is on super tight, so it's good. Um, but we'll clean that too. And uh, right there, it goes onto the frame. So we're gonna remove it, clean it to bare metal, same thing. So we're gonna get these grounds Super, super good. Uh, I'm gonna leave that out of the video now, you get the idea, but wherever your grounds are, maybe they're not the same as on this car, but those are part of it. So make sure you check all of those before you even turn your key. We are turning the key today on this car, just so everybody knows, and hopefully it's a success, because it's been 20 years since the key's been turned in it, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today, so stay tuned. 
All right, we got the positive wire hooked up to the starter. Everything's looking great. Uh, it's nice and protected. Nothing's rubbing anywhere. And we fixed up this ground wire. She's nice and solid now. All right, so we're gonna start on the engine harness now. Okay, here we have our engine harness. Um, here's the middle of it. And at the end, this goes to the starter. So we're gonna start with the shortest wires coming off of it, makes the most sense. Um, and that goes to the wiper motor. So there's one with two prongs, and then there's one with three prongs inside. So we're gonna start with this one with the two prongs. So that one goes in this way with the prongs, the open part of it, uh, this way and up towards uh, the driver and that plugs in right into this plug here. Uh, there's your wiper motor. See right this one at the bottom with these two black wires coming up. So that plugs in there. We're gonna start with that. And of course, every plug gets the royal treatment. Okay, just wanna show you how we're running the wires here. So we plugged in the one plug that we were just talking about, right? And then this whole bunch here of wires, see? So we're running that underneath the distributor, basically underneath all of these. I'll go on the other side. See on this side? So basically, see it down there? So it's running underneath all these vacuum hoses, underneath the distributor. It's going in behind the dipstick here uh, for the transmission. And then you want it as close um, to the firewall back there. And um, we'll show you underneath after when we get to the starter, but that's how we're doing that part. So we're gonna go on the other side now. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is this other one for the uh, wipers. So this is the one with three prongs. So this one goes like this, not facing down, up like this, and right here underneath this box, see, right there, those three prongs, that's where we plug that in like that. Okay, we got that plugged in. Next, we got on top here coming off the harness, this red wire. Uh, one end looks like that, which plugs into, see this mechanism here has this wire coming off of it right there. So that plugs into that. We're obviously gonna clean that because uh, it's kind of dirty. So that's what that's for. And then the other side of it, so this wire here is gonna hook up to this wire coming out of this. So that hooks up to there. So we're gonna clean those up, hook that up, and I'll show you what's next. All right, so next we have this wire, which is white and yellow. This wire, there is a little bit of confusion about because uh, one of those wires has nine and a half volts, apparently, and that runs uh, the old point system. So that would go to the ignition coil and the yellow wire that goes from the starter that gives it uh, 12 volts while you're cranking to give it 12 volts for starting purposes. And then it runs a nine and a half volts. So this car has an upgraded distributor here. And I'm not too sure if this runs on nine and a half volts or if it runs on 12 volts. For now, since this car hasn't ran in 20 years, we're just gonna plug this in. So this goes, normally it would go to your ignition coil to the positive on it. But in this case, uh, right here on the distributor, there's two prongs underneath. So it connects to the prong closer to the back of the car. That's where we plug that in. So like I said, I'm not 100% sure on that one, uh, but I will definitely have an episode and a video about the distributor and what it runs on. I will read it up and find out. I just... I'm just not quite there yet, so hang in there. The episode will come. All right, we're gonna plug that in and I'll show you what's next. All right, so we got that plugged in. Um, so now we are following the wires here. That's all there is. And then the next thing is the plug right here. So that just goes in the back of your fuse box. And then we have one more wire, uh, this one here, and that connects to the horn relay um right here see it connects to these uh where all the positives meet so you just hook it into one of those and it connects them all together 
and um, I'll just quickly show you which way those wires run down into the fuse box and um, yeah and then we're gonna move on to the starter all right we got that wire hooked up so now we're gonna feed all these underneath all these wires and hoses and things and that's gonna go down into there and see there's a hook right there we're gonna hook it onto that and that will come out around the harness and then all we gotta do once we do that is uh, run this wire up through right on the side here as close to this side as possible and then hook it into this box so I'm gonna do that right now and I just want to quickly show you what else you're gonna have to do here so all these type of wires that are in the car you're gonna have to trace them back see where they go and you know make sure that uh, nothing is cut or ripped or anything see I noticed these ones when they go into the firewall here it's hard to see but there is actually exposed wire there. We will be going over all the wires inside of the car, but I think we can troubleshoot those in the car and we're gonna be doing that in another episode. Today we are gonna be turning the key. Let me just quickly show you inside here. So see what I mean? Just some of these wires coming in. You just wanna make sure nothing's rubbed through anywhere on anything like that, things like that. We will figure all that out, won't be hard. All right, let's get back to putting this harness in. We're almost there. I'm pumped, pumped to turn the key. Okay, so we are underneath. So as you can see, there's one hanger there and there's another one up there for the wire. And then the wire goes down like this. And there's another hanger down here underneath. And I mean, we're getting ready to uh, put these harnesses together and plug them in. And also this red wire that goes to the uh, horn relay I put this protective thing on it and that's just gonna run up that way along your harness so I'll hook this up I'll put these two together and put some dielectric grease on those plugs and plug them in and then we're moving to the starter all right I just hooked up this uh, last positive to this relay box here I just want you guys to understand that these positive wires are all very important so this has to be on tight. Um, and you're gonna need one of these type of screwdrivers, honestly, because there's no way you're getting in there with a regular screwdriver. Like, you're gonna need these. So I got these little Mastercraft screwdrivers like that. Comes with a whole bunch of different uh, tips and stuff. Great Mastercraft product. Comes with one of these. Uh, totally worth it. You're needed for this car. So these two harnesses just come together like this. We're gonna get some dielectric grease, put it on our finger, and we're gonna rub it in to that plug up there into all the little holes, and we're gonna plug that in. And then there's just a screw at the back of this in the middle, and you just screw it in, and that's how that plug is in. All right, that's what that should look like. All right, we got that plugged in. As you can see, there's a hook there for the wire, a hook there, and one, there and one up there so it all makes sense once you start putting this in okay i'm about to go hook up the starter i just found one bad ground here i want to show you guys really quick so basically same as on the other side there's a the ground there and see this one's no good there we're gonna have to tighten that and um also this one too unfortunately it's also not good so we're gonna clean both those tighten them up good and uh then we're gonna move on to the starter and we're turning the key all right we are at the starter so we got a purple wire a yellow wire and a red wire so i'll quickly show you where those go your red wire goes with this one here your purple one goes there and your yellow one goes here so like i said before if you have um the original distributor with the points then you definitely need the yellow wire that goes to your coil but otherwise i think you don't even need it anymore if it does run on uh 12 volts we're, we're gonna make an episode about that so don't worry about that but i'm telling you how to hook it up if you have original stuff so that's where those wires go all right the starter is hooked up so now for the moment of truth we're gonna hook up the battery go in the car and turn the key all right here comes the moment of truth you know, before I turn the key, let me just tell you guys one thing. So this car hasn't ran in 20 years, but even 20 years ago, 
when it was running, the lights didn't work, the blinkers didn't work, nothing worked in it at all. And then 20 years ago, one day somebody went to turn the key and it went, eh, the amp gauge dropped, uh, there was a short, and that was the last time this thing had a battery in it. So this is pretty risky business, but I'll tell you guys another thing. I can't actually turn the car on and like start the motor, okay? I can turn the key and turn the car on, all the electronics in it, but I can't actually start it. Let me tell you why. Because the motor hasn't been turned over in 20 years. So there's actually gonna be two more episodes before I can actually turn the key and start the car. Let me show you. So the radiator was super gunked up, so I took that out. I'm already making an episode about that. And also inside of the car, the heater core had to come out because it was leaking antifreeze. And you guys won't even believe that episode, what's going on in there. In that episode, I'm gonna show you guys every single little blend door, every vacuum control, how it all works. It's gonna be very, very specific. You'll be able to fix your whole entire heater system, no problem, so that's coming next. But in order to start this thing, we gotta put nice fresh antifreeze in it, the radiator's gotta go back in, and the heater core's gotta go back in, so we gotta do that. And the second thing we gotta do is we need to prep this motor to actually be able to crank it. But don't worry, guys this thing will start and once it starts then we're gonna start troubleshooting everything else that might be wrong with it all right let's get in this old girl and turn the key now all right here goes nothing they come up here they come up here to make as much money in the short amount of time oh. that support their good sign and this season they've done so much to help provide for people. so the car definitely turned on let's check all the systems Okay, I just turned the lights on. Let's see if they work. Rear lights, fully functional. Front lights, partially functional. All right, let's try the blinkers now. Blinker, functional. Left blinker, also functional. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm quickly gonna try the horn. I bet you if I turn the key, it would turn over right now, but patience is the key. Horn. Can't have everything work on the first day. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm Tom, the problem solver. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Peace out.